this is the problem I'm facing in my project when I'm trying to export this file from a client. If I do control P that is print option and go for the preview option, you can see that I'm getting boxes in my printouts like this. I want to avoid these boxes. Now what are these boxes? These are basically our viewports. All right. So if I just come in, close this and click on this, you can see these are my viewports. So how do I get rid of the viewport so that when I do control P and go for the PDF option and go on preview, I don't get these boxes like this. So to remove this boxes, this is what I'm supposed to do. Hello and welcome back to Swell Field Trainers. My name is Shadab. As always, where, you, where will you find this practice file? All you have to do is go to our uh, app. In the app, in the setting material section, which is free, you will find the all YouTube practice file section. Open this. Inside this, I'll upload it. Okay. Last video, this column submission file, which was there. If you come and see here, the column submission file, I have uploaded all the files over here. All right. So you can come and check it out. So coming back to the project at hand, how do I remove this viewports? So to remove the viewports, first I have to come back to my model. Okay. In the model, you can come and see if you go for layer properties, there are so many layers that we have for column, for beams and everything. We have one more layer. Okay. So if I come to my layout for op option and close this for a second, I just select this box. I'll right click it and go for properties. Okay. Why am I doing this? So that I can find in which layer it is existing. It is existing in layer zero. Okay. So let me click on layer properties. You can see in layer zero is where my viewports are existing. So what I'll do is I'll go to my layers properties option. I'll create a new layer. Okay. And I'll call it as viewports. Okay. I'll call this layer as viewports and I'll close this. Now what I'll do, I'll select all these three boxes from here, one after the other. And I'll go and assign what? I'll go and assign this to the viewports option. So I have to come to the bottom and click on viewports option. Okay. You can see that's still visible even now. So if you go for layer properties and you come for the viewports, if you want to close them in the view, you can close them in the view. Okay. Just click on that and this, they will go away in the view. All right. But if I do control P and go for preview option now, you can see they will look like this. This is the one method. Okay. This is one method where we, what you are doing is you are going to the, your uh, layer properties option and you are hiding them from the view. But sometimes what happens is when you print them, they will, they will show up. Okay. Even though they are not showing up in your preview, when you print them, they will show up. So how to remove them from the print? The simple option is you have to go to your layers tab and there is something called as a print icon over here. Just uncheck this print icon. Okay. It should come like a negative sign over here. If you do this much and then even though they are appearing in your view, if you click on control P and go for the preview option, they will not come here. Okay. So what are you supposed to do? There will need two to three steps. The very first step is you have to go to layers properties and create a viewport for yourself, a separate uh, layer property and then assign all this a viewport to that particular property. Okay. And then you have to go back to the layer option. That is third step. And you have to make sure that it's in negative sign. That is basically you're saying we don't want this to be seen in the print. If you do this much, you'll be able to send your drawings to your client without them having these boxes and everything. All right. Again, uh, what this current update is going to come for our uh, ETAP CF and RCDC course. Okay. They are uh, the practically already 21, 22 hours, hours of content and I'm adding additional two to two and a half hours of content. All this uh, submission piles that you are seeing, this is this are basically for that update. Okay. And again, we have got 500 coupon discount right now. This will only last for two or three more, two days, I think two or three days. All right. And I think we have left five or six coupons only. That's all of them are sold out. All right. So if you want to get the discount, you can come in, check out the content here. And if you come to my uh, YouTube channel, you can see I have explained in depth what you can uncover in this ETAP CF and RCTC complete course. Okay. So if you want to check out the content, you can come in, check it out. So any doubt, let me know. See you guys in the next class. Thank you.